Okay, so hold on, because this is going to be a jumpy video. I'm going to talk about lawn line, lawn line. I'm going to talk about uh, fall fertilizers. We're going to talk about pre-emergent. I'm going to show you a bunch of projects we're doing here around the beach house. I'll show you tree trimming. I'll show you the snake, the cotton mouth I found. Uh, just random stuff that I've been shooting the past couple weeks because we've been so busy finishing up all of our stuff here. Hold on, here we go. It's going to be a hot one. Hey guys, Doc. Yes, today in this video, I'm going to talk to you about liming and some questions that I constantly get about liming yards. But also what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover some subjects about the upcoming fall. We're getting ready to make that transition. Things you need to think about. We'll talk a little bit about pre-emergent. We'll talk about your fertilizers. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the green chalker. And then I'll just show you some video clips i've been shooting over the past couple of weeks here at the beach house hey guys so i haven't been putting out a whole lot of videos because we've been so busy with projects all around the house plus i've been trying to squeeze in a little fishing because the fishing is great <laughs> so i've been squeezing in a little bit of fishing but i figured i'd run down some stuff real quickly for you first of all i know everybody there's a lot of people out there including myself that weren't able to get green chalker it was sold out before i could order for myself but I wanna make sure that everybody that's out there that's watching this is signed up on our email list. So go to our website, look for the email list sign up. We don't use it for marketing, I just do special announcements and then you get notifications of when I post a new video. That's all it's used for. So as an example, I sent out an email to that list to say, hey, the green chakra is available and within two hours, all 2000 bags were sold out. Just to let you know, I didn't even get any. <laughs> so I'm like, damn it, <laughs> I needed some. I had a little bag that I put out on the front down here on the zoysia lawn. Uh, I did that this morning, I'll probably show you that. I've done the reseeding back here. You can see that the reseed of the zoysia mixed in a little bit of that hybrid uh, Kentucky bluegrass. I'll show you that, that's coming along nice. But let's talk about lime. Now, when we did the front yard here, we brought in three truckloads, huge truckloads, and we put soil that was probably four inches deep all the way across that front because it was just nasty crap and seashells, basically. The problem with that soil was the pH. It, I sent it off for a soil test and it was 4.9. So the only people who should be applying lime to, a lime to a lawn are people who have had a soil test. Make sense? So if you have had a soil test and your pH is really low, you would add lime. If your pH is really high, then you would add sulfur to bring it down. But I like to do it in stages. You don't want to go out and dump 100 pounds per thousand square feet um, on, on your yard. You don't want to do that. So what I've been doing is I've been taking uh, small 25 pound bags and just putting out every week or two, just putting out a light coat of lime, light coat of lime, light coat of lime. And we're going to take that soil pH up from a 4.9 closer to a 6 over the next six months. Remember, adjusting your pH and trying to adjust it deep into the soil is a long process. You don't want to make an overall adjustment all at once. You don't want to go dump 50 or 100 pounds of lime per thousand square feet on your lawn. <laughs> so how much lime should you put down? I made myself a note. And here is basically the formula for your lime. If you have a sandy soil, you're gonna put down 25 pounds per thousand square feet to adjust it one point. Loam soil, so if you have that dark, rich loam soil, you would put 75 pounds per thousand square feet to adjust it up one point. Clay, you'll need to put 100 pounds per thousand square feet to adjust it one point. That's a lot of lime. So <laughs> if you have 5,000 square feet, you're gonna need 500 pounds of line to make one point adjustment over time. Again, if you have a low pH, don't try and make an immediate adjustment. Get I use Scott's pelletized lime. I'll show you the bag here in a minute. And again, I'm only putting out a light coat every week or two just to make that slow adjustment. So let's get in and let's, let me show you this seeding project real quick. So this has been about, Two, what is that, two, two and a half weeks ago, I came back here, I basically killed off all the weeds real heavy. Then I came back with my scarifier and I did a zoysia and I mixed in a little bit of the KGB, that uh, hybrid bluegrass. And a lot of the zoysia is really doing well. So let me show you what I've got here. This is what she looks like. And I'm gonna come over to an area. <clears throat> this is really cool because 
as an example, as an example, this area right here had a real heavy um, washout, so I had a whole bunch of extra seed here. But look at the areas that I used the scarifier. You can see, let me show you over here in the dark, you can see right here that there's sort of lines from the scarifier, and you can see those lines germinating. And almost all of that is the zoysia, believe it or not. So what's really cool about that is that I showed you guys using a scarifier, putting some of that seed a little bit deeper, really helps when you have heavy rains. And so I had these pooling areas where a lot of the upper seed floated to and got real heavy. But in those areas that I used the scarifier, I still have great germination. Now I'm going to show you the front yard. Now this is right about two months. We brought in a whole layer of new soil. I used the zoysia seed, which I'll link to all this stuff below. I'll link to everything I'm talking about. And I want to show you what the lawn looks like. It's amazing. It, it, people are shocked when they come by this house. They're absolutely shocked at how well this germination took place. Hey, Linda. What are you doing? Are you watching for people out here? She likes to sit on the deck and watch. Okay, so look at that. So now you're going to see some bare spots out here. And those bare spots are actually washout areas. or I guess you could call them pooling areas. And these pooling areas, the seed didn't take well. So I have gone back and we've reseeded those areas and added some more dirt to it. But let me tell you what, I'm gonna walk down and show you how great that looks. Man, you can see just how nice this looks right here. Look at that, isn't that great? That is just a really great looking lawn there. And that is all brand new zoysia, two months old from seed. No sod, just dirt and seed. That is great. So people are gonna ask what I use for fertilizer back here. When you're seeding, you're gonna use your PGF balance, and that's what I use. Matter of fact, this morning, or yesterday, I came back and put another coat of PGF balance on this new seed in the back. The front, I started off with PGF balance, and then I transitioned. Now I'm transitioning over into the PGF complete. If I had green shocker, which I had a little bit of this morning, I would start to also throw down some green shocker out there because it's an all instant release 712. You get that real dark green pop going on. So, brand new seed, brand new lawn, light coats of PGF balance. Link to down below. Everyone else, this time of year, PGF complete. When the temperatures start to drop, that's when we're going to start to shut off long-term fertilizers and hopefully there will be some more green shocker for you warm season guys. Even your cool season guys can use that too. But let's talk about pre-emergent. So I'm going to take you down into the basement. Sorry about the glare. <clears throat> By the way, um, I'm still using that cheap lawnmower here and I'm talking to uh, my McLean guys about possibly getting like a demo real mower for here. Uh, there's a lot of rocks and shells, and I don't necessarily, I'm not looking forward to it, but this lawn needs to be cut shorter. It needs to be cut down to about one inch, so I'll let you know about that. But let me go down into the basement, and I'm going to show you what I have got down here. By the way, if you don't know about the basement, this used to be carpet, and we actually had, a few weeks ago, my tile guy came and put down this ceramic wood tile, which is great down here. So here's my, my COVID lawnmower. <clears throat> and I keep my fertilizers in tubs. And why do I do that? Because we are in a flood zone. So keep your fertilizer in tubs. And you can see I've got some duo side double kill, but I've got, also got my pre-emergent. All ready for the fall, I've got my pre-emergent. Uh, in this bag, I have PGF complete, and I still have some PGF balance over in here. Here is the lime that I'm putting down. Uh, you can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's. That's the best way to buy it. Don't order it online. Just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and this is the Stay Green. This is a fast acting pelletized lime. I am putting one bag, it's 25 pound bags, 25 pounds per bag. It's pelletized and I'm putting down a bag every week or two, mainly on that front lawn. So why am I focused on pre-emergent? Because I had so many weeds in this lawn. Plus we have things like sand burrs and different things down here. So I am going to, when the temperature cools down in the fall, and this is the key, 
when you get that first frost move in, that's when I'm going to put down a real heavy coat of pre-emergent. I'm going to put down a heavy coat of pre-emergent. What I'm going to do real quick is I'll show you that snake. I'm very lucky that I didn't lose a dog because uh, I wasn't home. I was on my way home. My wife said, there's a snake in the backyard. And I was thinking it was a glass lizard, you know. I came back and it was coiled up. The dogs are outside. Luckily, she got them in. I went out there and it was still in the garden. It was a four foot cotton mouth. Now there are some big rattlers down here because this is a coastal area. There's a lot of marshes. There are some rattlers, but mainly, but I'd never seen a cotton mouth. And then I'll show you the tree work that we're having done. I have, uh, Dalton came back. I had Dalton actually clean up a bunch of vines and trees all around the power lines back here. So, there he is. Still moving. <laughs> nice old uh, cotton mouth there. I need to get that head disconnected. So one of the things I never do is mess with power lines. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Doc? Well, my boys from Action Arbor came by and they I have got a power line that runs all through this crap back here and I don't want to touch it so basically what we're doing so you can see this is we're parking this truck here and they're swinging this all the way over and what I want to do is all these stupid water oak trees dropping down into the pool and spa. I want to get rid of all those stupid limbs. Here's kind of a funny note. Green Shocker sold out in two hours on Amazon. And I thought Anderson's was gonna hold a couple of bags for me and guess what, they didn't. <laughs> so, like most of you, I don't have any. I brought down just a little bag that I had left and I'm gonna apply it to the zoysia. So let's see if you can see this. See the black dots? Those are actually green shocker. And you can see how some of it's actually starting to melt. It actually starts to melt right away. It's fast release. There's an example of it right there. It actually melts right away. That's pretty cool. So there it is. Look down in here. See those dots? They're actually water droplets. Because I put it on because I put it on after I ran my irrigation system and see it. So now I'm just going to water it in. So one of my jobs is to trim palm trees and trim the berries out here. You can see we've got a big pile over here. There's probably a damn snake in here too. But this is all from the bar palm trees and the sago palms that I've been trimming. So I made that one nice and pretty. I cleaned it up, took all the berries, took off the lower palms. And around the house, you can see the same thing. I trimmed up those palm trees, got them away from the house. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here looking at fishing lures. <laughs> I ordered some big spoons. 
because I saw a couple king mackerel running through all that bait, so I got me some pretty big spoons. Priorities, Doc, priorities. So here's an interesting note. This uh, zoysia, I'm cutting it with my COVID lawnmower, the cheap piece of crap lawnmower I bought. And uh, it's getting it down to about an inch and three quarters, and it really needs to go down shorter. So I contacted McLean and said, uh, look, you guys got any demo models or something? Luckily, they've got, they had uh, one or two demo models that were used just for like an hour and they're the GR series 25 inch with a roller which is what I recommend I link to them on the website so today I've got one shipping down here and I'm gonna real mow this zoysia and I'm gonna try and get it down to about an inch that will be really cool now here's a funny note this is kind of a quirky sort of beach town not people really don't take care of their lawns too much there are some houses that have nice lawns but you know you're a yard fanatic <laughs> my lawn is just gorgeous people are walking by looking at it going why is that lawn so nice but I got a real mower coming down here my only issue is I do have a lot of rocks I gotta walk the lawn pick up all the rocks and we have oyster shells so this ground is full of oyster shells so I gotta walk around and make sure I don't have any oyster shells so what I'll try and do is I'll try and shoot some video for you guys of this zoysia being cut with a new real mower that's coming in Friday. That'll be two or three days. So uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you got your products for the fall ordered and have them in stock. Remember, if Green Shocker comes back up, they're going to do another run of like 2,000 bags. When it comes up, I will not put it on video. I will send out notifications to the email list first. So if you want the Green Shocker, you got to be on that email list again in the description. Go there, sign up for the email list. Talk to you later. Talk.